What is up guys? Today we are going to be playing Challenge Shuffle and just chilling, talking. It's going to be a pretty chill video, pretty unedited video, and just, you know, me talking, playing some Challenge Shuffle. Now, I have not played this map very much at all, um, but I have the goal to beat the Easter egg for this map, so hopefully that will come out on this channel someday. Uh, but I thought we'd kind of dip our toes into what I'm getting myself into, because I've done the uh, Spaceland and the Raven the Redwoods Easter Egg, but I have heard this one is a much, much, uh, much of a step up. It's a lot harder. Um, but I'm, you know, I'm excited to see that for myself, because I haven't really even played the map. I don't even know if the map's very fun at all. I haven't played any of the upcoming DLCs, really, so I thought I'd run through it. Uh, our goal today is to turn on power. Get the pack a punch, maybe you know, get that going a little, and uh, yeah, I know there's actually not much to do on Shaolin for the first five rounds because you can't get your karate powers. So we're just gonna stay in here for the first five rounds until we get our karate powers, because that's what that's what the pros do. I hear. I don't know. Uh, I do think this map is really cool, uh, like idea-wise. I think all the Infinite Warfare maps are, are pretty neat. Uh, I like the idea of like martial arts and kung fu and zombies. It's kind of cool and it's fun It's kind of crazy how we've never seen that before really in another zombie map like this map You can get a freaking katana if you do the Easter egg. Hell yeah, that sounds awesome But also the Easter egg is really hard <laughs> I feel like that's what turns a lot of people off from IW um, and what kind of turned me off is Everything's really complex, it kind of feels like for me, and I was really into Black Ops 3 when this game came out, I didn't really care to play it much, but I really wish that I played this game more, and I'm glad that I'm coming back and playing it more, because it is a ton of fun. I really like the customization in this game, and just the whole feel of this game, like it's super goofy and fun, and I, I don't know, I kind of like it a lot. And, uh, this map is one of the last maps that I really even tried playing, like, back when they were releasing. Uh, and I, I couldn't even really figure out how to do anything in it. I heard that Pack-A-Punch was ridiculous. Like, when it first came out, you know, uh, people were not happy about, about everything on the map. Um, and I feel like Shaolin's opinion really hasn't changed much. A lot of people have not played this map, I feel like. A lot of people haven't even really... Gave it a chance. I mean, I'm a, I'd consider myself a pretty pretty uh, avid zombie player, and I, I haven't even played this map. Man, the spawns on this map are really, really slow. Or maybe I'm just really, really bad. But they're, they're feeling kind of slow, but that's okay. I mean, we're just chilling today, boys. I hope everybody who's watching this has had a blessed day. Um, I've had a pretty good day. I've been working quite a bit at Papa John's, grinding the, the pizza money. It's been a good time. Uh, and that's pretty much what I've been up to. I want to freaking get Director's Cut, man. That would be so cool. I do think that is one of the coolest things about IW is that when you beat all the Easter eggs, you get a permanent Perkaholic. I mean, that is just insane. And a very cool reward and incentive. I mean, Black Ops 3 is... The Easter eggs, I would say, are really fun, but... The RK5 is not the best reward, but at least it is a reward, you know? I mean, back in the older games, there really wasn't much of a reward for doing the Easter egg. Alrighty, I like this automatic pistol. It's pretty chill. I honestly like the IW, uh, IW weapons. They feel pretty pretty good. Most of them, I'd say. Some of them are really bad, but I also like how you can customize and modify them in, like, the gunsmith. To make your, uh, your weapons really cool or really bad. <laughs> And you can do more than, than uh, add, like, attachments to guns in this game. You can, like, fully change how they play, which is kind of cool. I didn't really want that carpenter, but you know what? It's whatever, man. Where are these zombies at, dude? They're, like, so quiet. Oh, there he is. Alrighty, now that it's round five, we're finally going to get out of here. I think, because it's time to. If we can. I didn't even... Oh, yeah, I did hit the power switch. There's a power switch there. You got to hit that. Boom, bada beep. And then you can get out of here. Oh, it's a something round. Isn't it like roller skaters? Isn't that what's on the- Oh my god, yeah, that's spooky. That's actually super funny. I kind of like that. The rolling skating zombies is really goofy. Um, but okay. I'm gonna go grab my- Oh my god! <laughs> I did not expect like a wave of them. Okay, well, it's, it's whatever, boys. Like I said, unedited. First attempt. This is bound to have some mistakes, boys. I didn't I didn't realize they're that crazy. They're like clowns. I didn't even really realize they blew up, to be honest. 
but at least I took out a lot of them by dying there, you know? Took out, like, half the horde. Alright, where's the, uh, where are they? Come on, man. They looked really cool, at least. I'll give them that. Like, wait, look at this guy. Yeah, they, them sliding across looks really funny. I like that a lot, honestly. Alright, time to go get my Kung Fu power. Enough messing around, man. I want my Kung Fu. That's what I want. I don't know what Kung Fu is the best at all, so we are going to go with the... I don't know. We got the snake style, the dragon style, the tiger style, and the crane style. I've heard tigers pretty good, I think. I'm pretty sure they're all honestly really good, but I guess... Uh, I guess, yeah, I will go with Tiger, because I'm kind of a baller. I'd say I'm an inner Tiger, you know, honestly. Uh, I don't know the layout of this map very well, so we're just going to start buying doors and looking for things. I, I did look up a guide to unlock Pack-a-Punch and Power, but um, I don't really remember everything about it, so we will see. Also, this Kung Fu bitch is not shutting up. She's yapping, so sorry about her. Um, but, I mean, I, I'd be the same way. I'm a yapaholic. Uh, so yeah, I gotta look for this poster, I think he said, a reel, and then a token, and that's it, so, interesting part, hey, I found the poster right there, boom, we gotta get that poster right there for Pack-a-Punch, easy dubs, and then some other things, oh yeah, I wanna try my Kung Fu power, let's do it, dude, this thing is super cool, man, boom, 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 holy shit, oh god, I'm gonna die, actually, <laughs> I thought that would be a little bit better than it was. Like, it, it was it was fine. I just, uh, I forget how easy it is to die in Infinite Warfare. I kind of don't want to die just yet, man. I'm, I'm chilling. We kind of just got to the cool stuff. So I'm going to go buy Quick Revive. I'd like to at least get Jug open. At least turn on all the power switches. At least see some of the map, man. That'd be nice. Uh, but let's see. I can't believe my Kung Fu power is already out. I think you can use it once around. Uh, kind of sad, but whatever. I mean, it, it was pretty goofy, and <laughs> that, that was funny to see, at least. Um, alrighty, alrighty. Let's keep moving along here. I guess there's really nothing to do but end the round and keep exploring, so... Probably gonna keep exploring after I take advantage of the double points here, because we need that double money, baby. I kind of want to get a different gun. What's a good different gun here? The UDM, I'm pretty sure that thing sucks absolute booty cheeks, bro, if I remember right. That thing is really bad, uh, but that's okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can make it really good, though, if it has uh, weapon upgrades. You know, let's see how good it is. I'm talking all this shit on it. Let's see. It's not that bad, honestly. I mean, it's fine. It's only round six, and that was insta-kill. Oh my god, that was insta-kill. Okay. Still doesn't seem absolutely horrible. Alright, let's let's get out of here while the the round changes. I think that was the end of the round at least, I don't know. Yeah, the the round change in uh, Infinite Warfare has such a long like delay on it. It's kinda weird. Okay. Oh yeah, these we can open up do I have to go get new tiger drink? Oh no no no, I can just pick it up from here. Okay, I'm gonna break these. I don't really know. Hi y'all! Boom! Broke that thing open. I don't really know what they open, but I know you break them with your Kung Fu power. Okay, I'm gonna be careful. I've, like, before felt invincible with my Kung Fu powers. I realize now that I can die with them. Still. Okay, now that I'm melee 15 zombies, I unlock the shurikens? Right, yeah, that's sick. Die. Kill 25 zombies using the shuriken. And as you charge it up, they become stronger. Really cool. Honestly, yeah, pretty neat. I, I like the... Like, it's just a really cool idea that you don't really have to do much for it, you know, and you just get these, uh, these martial arts abilities instantly. I like that a lot. I want to see what the other abilities on the tiger one is, so let's, let's try to get that leveled up and see, shall we? Okay, got those guys down, and we're gonna pick up these cluster grenades and be mad chillin'. Um, I don't really know where to go now. I think down here further. I do have a lot of money. I don't really need to be staying in one place. Uh, that's Deadshot Daiquiri, and I think the power for it's, like, right... It's right by it. it. It's right over here somewhere, maybe? I don't know, man. I literally watched a guide for this, but... Let's hit the freaking mystery well, dude. Let's hit the mystery box instead of worrying about that. I don't think there's any wonder weapon that you can get out of the mystery box. What the fuck is this thing? I got an infinite... What? 
Like, what did I just get, guys? I got an infinite ammo shotgun that hurts me. Like, what? Well, like, what am I using? Is this a is this a special weapon that I have? Like, what? It it hurts me as I use it. That is so weird. I've never seen this weapon. I don't really understand what. I don't. I don't. I don't know, man. This is weird. I've never seen this gun. It's kind of cool, but it's gonna kill me, so I can't use it. That's so weird. Like, I've never seen a gun that hurts you as you use it. That's so stupid. <laughs> Why is that a thing? That might just be, like, a custom gun thing that I have. Alright, where's this power switch, man? I'm trying to freaking find the power. And I'm messing around. I'm grabbing this thing. What are... No, I'm not grabbing this thing. I'm pretty sure that thing sucks. I'm grabbing, boom, my tiger gourd, and then I'm gonna... Get out here. Okay, this is looking nice. Activate the hydrant. Let's just see what that does. I'm, I'm just very curious. Okay, I guess it just blasts zombies away. Okay, I'm about to die. Interesting trap. Oh my god, did you guys just see that guy fly? I mean, it, it, it's kind of cool. Yeah, it sends them flying, kind of. Interesting, interesting. Alright, let's use our Kung Fu here and try to level that up while we look for power switches. Because I didn't even... I'm doing kind of a bad job, guys. It's round eight, and and we're not much of the map is opened up, but that's okay. It's kind of weird. I don't like using the shurikens that much, but it's whatever. It just takes a sec to charge up, which I don't like. Ooh, bonfire cell though. That's nice. All right. So, um, hmm. This is gonna lead to the other power switch, right? Yep. There's a power switch by Bang Bangs, I think. That's what everybody was saying, bro. And there's a power switch by Bing Bings. I swear there was. Maybe it's on this side. Um, bro, I literally watched the guides and I don't know how to turn on the power. That's kind of sad, but... Alright, here's the second power switch. Boom, let's go. Oh god, bro. I'm kind of cooked. You see all these fucking zombies, bro? Oh my god. Get me out of here. This is kind of... This is kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. This is kind of scary. I just want to, I just want to get enough shuriken kills to see what's next, dude. Leave me alone. I just want to see. Oh my god, I missed. <laughs> no, because I missed my shuriken. I cooked myself. Okay. Guys, this is our last life. Okay. If you've watched this far into the video, I'm very impressed with you and I, I love you, by the way. But let's see if we can do this because this is not looking too good. So yeah, what is this thing called? This is the... D D something. It literally disappears like as I pull it out. D eight something. D M eight. D C M. This is what the D C M Mac assist, I guess. I wonder if this is an exclusive to uh, Shaolin Shuffle weapon, or if I'm just like an idiot and it's one of my weapons I customized to make myself dan to make it damage me. That'd be stupid. Well, I can't get jug until all the power things are turned on, so I'm kind of in trouble, boys. Because I, I need to figure out how to turn the power things on. Hey, this thing's here. I love this shotgun. This shotgun's pretty good. So I'll, I'll take it. Hopefully it will uh, hopefully it will do me well. Oh god. I'm gonna die. I thought that was it for a second, boys. I was, I was I'm not gonna lie. So as you guys can see, I don't think the Shaolin Shuffle Easter Egg is actually gonna go that well. Uh... <laughs> When I do attempt this shit, it is gonna be vile. Uh, let's go... If I could just find the power switches... Oh, here's power. Power up here. Power up, up here. Power up. Oh, look, yeah, power is up. Alright, now where is it? Come on, bruh. Yeah, power this way. Find power. It's like... Oh, right here. Boom, right next to the... Okay, okay. So we got two, and then there's one more... I don't even really remember where they told me it was. I think they said it was by the nightclub. Uh, something like that. So over here, maybe? I also don't remember really any of the real spots. That's the hard part about learning any new zombies maps, is it kind of just takes a while to get used to everything. Learning all the new spots can be kind of annoying, but it is what it is. I mean, it's all part of the map if you're actually going to try to, you know, learn it. it's You're going to have to look for those kind of things, and is what it is. Hmm... Oh, power this way. Definitely, definitely. I know that... Yeah, maybe it's upstairs they were saying the power was. I know they said power's in the nightclub, but guys, I'm so scared. 
I'm low-key so fucking scared. Like, I know these zombies are about to come eat my booty, bro. Wait, what is this? The K-Bar? I don't know how good that thing is, but I'm taking it, I guess. So I could use a good point gun. And just something that doesn't, you know, damage me as I shoot it. Okay, but it says power is up here, so hopefully this is the last power switch. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. I remember in the video, he's, like, right over here. Yeah, okay. Okay, the map layout on this isn't too bad. I think I've seen a good majority of the map. But let's go to the Rat King sewer and see if we can't get ourselves some jug. Uh, which we probably can't. I think I think we might be absolutely cooked. This rooftop does not seem very easy to get out of. Atch, at, oh, I, I did not mean to use that, but that will actually probably help me. Scorching skin. I like the Fate and Fortune cards. They're not bad. They're interesting. Oh, God. I knew it. I was try- Ah, oh, that was so bad. Whatever. GG's, man. GG's. If you guys enjoyed this video, uh, drop a sub. I'd appreciate it a lot. Uh, I'm gonna def check back in and do some more on this map in a different video. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.